I'm back YouTube DB Squonks here today we're going to be doing a review on a device that I want to give away again today we are talking about the Rebirth RDA by Hellvape designed by Mike Vapes and jump down to the table take a look at it put a build in it come back up on top vape on it and give you my pros and cons all right so here we are down low with the Rebirth RDA by Hellvape designed by Mike Vapes Show you around the box real quick. Of course, you have your RDA and your top cap in the window. It's going to give you a scratch and check on the side with the social medias. The back gives you just a list of features and your contents. Also designed in USA, made in China. Then shows you a little diagram on the side. And then the top of the box says Hellvape. Bottom of the box is going to be your color configuration. This one is in black. Go ahead and open this up and take it out. So you do have, again, your top cap, one piece top cap. Rebirth logo on that side. Nothing on the other side. 16 honeycomb style airflow holes. I believe they're 1.2 millimeter in diameter on each side. Then you have your deck, which is going to be a side slash bottom airflow. It will come in at the side right here and goes up at an angle. So you can see the screwdriver here kind of just goes up at an angle to hit your coil from the bottom. Two post design. So you do have to share post for a dual coil build. Um, the posts are offset a little bit, which makes it easier to put in your coil so you don't have to bend your legs, all that other good stuff. On the bottom of the RDA, of course, you're going to have your protruding 510 gold plated pin. It does say, the camera probably won't pick this up because it's a media blasted deck, but it says Mike Vapes here, Hell Vape here, Rebirth here, and then just some China warnings or whatever it is over here on the side. So back to the deck, again, you do have one gold-plated uh, positive post. And then your negative post, of course, is milled into the deck. Um, it does have flathead screws. Let's see, this camera is picking this up. Bear with me, guys. This is a new camera. So it does have uh, flathead screws in both the posts. And you're also going to get your box of extras. Of course, you're going to get your rebirth sticker. And then also a user manual in multiple languages. Inside the spares box, let's see what comes in this. In the spares box, you're going to have your flathead screwdriver and your Allen key. They also do include kind of their version of the coily tool, which you just put your, I'll show you how to use that here in a second. You just put your legs in it and clip them so it's the proper length for the deck. And then you have your spare parts bag which includes another frosted 810 drip tip, a 510 drip tip adapter, a bunch of O-rings, your gold plated squonk pin, and a couple of extra grub screws. So I'm gonna throw a build in this, and uh, we'll show you guys how to use that little tool that they've included. I'm also gonna put the squonk pin in this because I'm gonna be using it on the top side. So I'll put a squonk pin in this and uh, We'll go back up on top and vape on it. Also wanted to show you guys inside this top cap real quick. This was uh, machined very, very well. I don't see any dents or dings or anything like that in it. I don't see. It's very clean. 
There's no VG all over it or machine oil or anything. Um, but I am going to run this through the cleaner real quick before I do put it all together. Welcome to America, the land of the free and the home of the brave. Everything is perfect and equal and you never have anything to worry about. Because here in America, we take care of our citizens. We never do anything wrong. Believe me. What happened to neighborly love? What happened to feeling the peace of a dove? The truth is, America was never great. It's time to set the record straight. America is filled with hate. Hey, huh, huh. Stupid tiki torches. Rich white boys who inherited their fortunes. Little whack fascists, spoiled acting brat kids. Don't condone violence, but I punch a Nazi bastard. Bang. Not just nationalist factions. Racism is systemic and we see it through actions. Masses incarcerated and killed for the color of the skin without a chance for appeal. So tell me, tell, tell me. me, how would you feel if it happened? to you because for many it's real yes it happens it's true so our prisons are filled yep. fathers brothers daughters with no chance to rebuild it's revealed police are targeting the innocent if you don't see the truth you need to check your white privilege stand up, stand up. it's the time to dissent choose to say nothing in your silence is consent if white people are just now discovering that it's bad for black or working class people in america all right back up top with the rebirth rda by helvig and mike vapes I also forgot to mention this is a 24 millimeter RDA. Um, so let's take it for a rip and I'll give you my pros and cons. All right, we'll start off with pros first. Um, definitely the machine quality on this RDA is excellent. Um, it didn't come dirty or anything like that. There wasn't any VG, there wasn't any or dings or anything like that on the RDA so the machine quality is pretty well done um, the uh, them including the their version of the coily tool uh, so you know the proper distance or proper length rather to cut your legs uh, that's definitely a pro the flavor on this thing is definitely a pro the airflow is ultra smooth with that honeycomb style um, kind of under your coil airflow configuration they got going on that's uh, that's definitely a pro um, there's a lot of good things about this RDA uh, I do have a couple of cons and they're pretty much just me nitpicking uh, my first con would be I'm not a fan of the gold plated post it doesn't look right um, I know you're never really gonna look at the build deck unless you're taking coil pictures or something like that of that nature um but gold plating a post i don't understand the purpose of doing it i don't think it helps with connectivity or you know any of that stuff so i don't understand the purpose of gold plating the post the way that the posts are it's kind of backwards um per se uh they're kind of offset a little bit but the way that they are you would have to wrap your coils um, I think it would be anti-clockwise. Yeah, you would have to wrap them anti-clockwise, and most coil builders um, wrap their coils clockwise. So, you know, that's just me nitpicking. Um, the other thing that was a con for me, just because most other companies do include it with their RDAs, especially RDAs from China and RDAs at this price point, this RDA didn't come with any coils or cotton. Um, most companies do at least include coils. So, you know, I would like to see them include coils. And then my last con would be that there's only two posts instead of four. The fact that you have to share a post for two coils, it can be a little bit tricky putting the coils in there, but, you know, once you get it, it's good to go. And um, you can fit massive builds in here too, so that's also another pro. Um, but other than that, Make sure you guys check out the, um, make sure you check out the, excuse me, I'm sorry. Make sure you guys check out the uh, advocacy links below. Um, make sure you guys stand up for your right to 
to vape whatever flavor you want. There is a bunch of stuff going on in the United States right now with flavor bans. Also, there's stuff going on in Australia. If you guys watch, you know, Vic Bogan, he's always talking about the advocacy over there and here. Um, but advocacy wherever you're at is important, wherever you're at in the world. If there's something against vaping, you guys need to stand up for it. That way you can continue to vape and don't have to, you know, smoke cigarettes and so forth and so on. So until next time, guys, I don't care if you're vaping on a hand-me-down device or something that you spent hundreds and thousands of dollars on. It don't matter to me as long as you're vaping and not smoking. So until next time, keep it cloudy.